Hey guys, so today I'm retaping my hoop. So I've taken all the old tape off and I'm basically going to inspect my hoop and it should be something you do every time you retape your hoop as well. So now I've taken all the uh, tape off, I'm just gonna go round all of the hoop, just making sure I'm looking out for any um, rust spots or any corrosion any cracks in the hoop uh, so every hoops different as well so you know this one's a stainless one so at least like last forever I love it um, this one's also a fatter hoop what I call a fatter hoop because um, it's slightly wider it's quite nice for a hand grip it doesn't catch me so much my calluses so when training for a longer period of time it's quite nice um, but otherwise I do use my thinner standard hoop um, so yeah I'm just looking out especially if you guys have got a rig point okay so you might have two big points or you might just have a single one this is a tabless one um, I don't really like the points um, so yeah, just make sure to have a look around your rig point as well, just to see whether it's all safe, it's not cracked or corroded or looks horrible. Um, that being said, you know, safety first. If, you're, if it's not any good, I just wouldn't use it. I would, you know, scrap it and buy a new one. I mean, it's not worth risking your health, okay? So once you're all happy with your hoop, so this one is good to go, we are going to re-tape. So, I've, I'm now using, I ugh, start again, I buy my tape from Fire Toys and I use the more expensive one, I think this roll was like £15, obviously you can get cheaper tape, you know, they can be like a fiver or less, however I find the cheaper the tape the more sticky it is and nobody likes a sticky hoop, do it. So yeah, the more expensive the tape I find, the nicer it is, the smoother it is on your hands. So um, just bear that in mind. If you do have like, a, if you do have tape that's quite sticky though, you can always use um, talcum powder or anything like that. Just talk it up. Just hopefully take some of the stickiness away. So how do we tape a hoop? So I'm just going to take it out of the wrapper. So on my hoop here, wherever it is. Just have a look. I've I've made a little mark just with a permanent marker, and this is the point where I I wrap my hoop from. If that makes sense, yeah, I can find it. Here we go. Okay, so I've got a little mark there. It's just a bit of a like I said, just a pen. So I'm going to use that mark, and I use it so that I know I take my hoop in exactly the same way or the same start and at the same point every time. So what I'm going to do is we need to start thinking about if you think about this being a clock. Okay, so if we're face our face with you. So this is the face of your clock. We're going to go from about 7 o'clock and we're going to go all the way back up to 12 o'clock. Okay? And then what we're going to do is turn the hoop over and we're going to do the exactly same thing, which means your lap over the bottom. And the bottom bar is obviously where you have your hand grips the most. Um, so it's the most used part of your bar. So yeah, we're going to meet at the top. So, so when we start, we're just going to go from one point and you're just going to make sure you cover from seven o'clock to twelve o'clock now when you start to tape you want to be at a slight angle and you want to make sure it's nice and tight okay you also don't want to go too wide so from here i've just put a bit on at a slight angle i'm going to take the hoop uh, sorry take the tape underneath i'm going to take the tape over the top and i'm just going to cross over ever so slightly so I'm just overlapping, but I'm not going too wide, nor am I going too narrow. The wider you go, the more creases you're going to have in your tape. Does that make sense? I'm just going under. I'm sort of going halfway down, I suppose. So when I'm crossing the tape, when I'm taking the tape over, should I say, so here I'm making sure it's halfway in between the tape. Does that make sense? So at the moment, obviously this is the width of my tape, and when I wrap, I'm making sure it's like halfway through. I hope that makes sense. I don't know if it does, but uh, let me know. So that's basically what I'm doing as I'm wrapping over. And I'm keeping it super tight. And I'm not allowing the tape to drop underneath the bar. I'm actually keeping that tape really close to the hoop. And I can just literally roll it around. So hopefully this will minimise any creasing. Obviously you might get a little bit of creasing when you first start. And that's okay. I won't worry too much. But you don't want too much because... Um, if you've got too many creases or folds in your tape it's not going to be nice to hold so yeah just bear that in mind and it only comes with practice so keep going around just with a slight angle okay 
So I'm going to go all the way around, like I said, to 12 o'clock. I'm going to sit down and do it because I like to rest the tape on my legs. So I have my legs slightly wide and I rest the hoop in between so that I can not hold the hoop anymore and just work on holding the tape, making sure that I'm getting it as smooth as possible and it makes it a lot easier and quicker. As you can see, this is a much nicer part of the job when we're retaping. So I get to a certain point and then I'm just going to move the hoop around and I'm just going to continue all the way until I get to the 12 o'clock mark. Okay guys, so I've reached the 12 o'clock mark, so I've gone from the 7 o'clock all the way up to 12 o'clock and then I'm just going to cut the tape. So this tape, just if you just rip it, it will just rip really easily, however you might need to get some scissors if you've got some tape that doesn't want to pull apart. Cool. So we've done one side. Now what we need to do is I'm going to turn it upside down. So I'm going to make the top part the bottom part, okay, so I'm just going to flip it over. Okay, and now I'm back at the bottom, and I'm going to start wrapping again at the seven o'clock mark. Okay, that means I'm going to retape over this bottom part of the hoop. Yeah, so I'm going to start exactly the same thing. I'm still going to uh, tape, and I'm going all the way until I meet the top part. Okay, so same thing. Get the tape. Seven o'clock, slight angle, so it'll be going the other way slightly, and when you're ready. Off you go. Okay, so once I've reached the top, I'm just going over a couple of times in the same spot, and then I'm just going to either cut it off or tear it off. Now, what I like to do, particularly um, with a uh, no point hoop or zero points, um, is to get a different coloured tape um, or something where you can mark it so you can mark that this is the top point of your hoop, okay, the way you wrapped it. Because if you have it any other way, you may find that the um, tape starts to roll because you always want your hands, obviously you want the overlap part to be at the bottom, okay. So if you always get like a little bit of tape or something just to mark it, if you've got a coloured hoop, um, or you've used tape, coloured tape, you might just want to get like a black marker just to mark the top and that's where you're going to use your strop or whatever you're going to do to attach it to the rig, uh, the rigging point. Does that make sense? So that is how you tape a hoop guys and we should be all good to go. If you've got any questions, give me a shout. <laughs>